this. Y'all so out of sight, out of mind. I can't even think of a Drake line. Play J. Cole, get the. What Drewski say? Dude, this is like the face of a nigga that's gonna lie. <laughs> uh, so you can't think of a Drake, you don't know a Drake line? Fool. <laughs> oh my god, boy. <sighs> It's really Drake versus the field out here, y'all. <laughs> no cap, bro. What is going on? Do they feel like it's like one person says something, not everybody just jumping in? Do they feel like they can take bro down now? Everybody just been feeling this way, and now they feel like they can take bro down. They all ganging up. Like, we got him. We got him. We got him now. Full line. But nah. What we'll go down, YouTube? It's your boy Key. Back with another reaction, man. And we're finna react to Kanye West Like That Remix, which is a diss to Drake. You feel me? I think this also came out while I was, while I was on a trip. And yeah, man. Look. Y'all leave a like on this video right now. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Y'all see we double uploaded today. So, like, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Come get this good content. So, yeah. Subscribe. Come join the team. Come join the journey, you feel me? And hit that notification bell because you need to be knowing I'm posting. And before we get into this, I don't, I just want to give y'all my thoughts on this real quick, right? Now, like, Kanye, bro, I feel like, all right, so for one, we already knew. It's no secret that Kanye and Drake got this beef going on for a long time, right? For a long time. I just think that Kanye saying something right now is more so, and y'all comment down below, let me know y'all thoughts. But I think it's low-key kind of like attention seeking, seeking, bro. Because like nobody was talking about him in this sense. I'm not talking about in general because we know his album went number one. We know um, his song went number one, Carnival. But I'm talking about in this sense, nobody was talking about him. And Kanye's smart. He knows that what's going on right now is is historical like we're gonna be talking about this for a minute it's gonna be in the history books all these people uh dissing drake and coming at drake and all these diss tracks coming out he know he he's smart he knows it's historical and it's like he just added he inserted himself in there for no reason like i don't feel like like he needs to be involved in this at all like i don't understand and then on top of that i uh, know y'all seen y'all probably seen the video because i've seen it so i know y'all probably seen it the video of him talking about basically not being mentioned in the big three and stuff like that. Um, and I don't like, that's another reason why I feel like he inserted himself. Like y'all not talking about me in the big three. So let me just go ahead and boom, 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 which to me, he shouldn't even worry about that. Cause Kanye, like Kanye's a goat. Like we not go act like bro. Now that he's a goat in this, you feel me? And to me, he's better than Kendrick Lamar and J Cole. I wouldn't even mention Kanye with them. Like I'd rather jump Kanye over Kendrick Lamar and J Cole. You feel me? Like, I don't even think that shit, he should even feel some type of way about, about not being mentioned in that. You feel me? But I don't know. Can't tell somebody else how to feel, bro. But y'all let me know how y'all think about that. How y'all think about Kanye inserting himself in this. Do y'all think it's just like, he just don't like Drake, so he just, boom, did it? Or do y'all think he's trying to insert himself in it? Or he's trying to attention seek or make sure he's involved with history? Because this is, this is, I know we living through it, so we don't really probably don't see it right now, but this is historical what's happening right now. With these diss tracks, people coming at Drake and all these people, like, this is historical right now. Let's let's be real. But enough of the talk, bro. We finna get straight into it. Let me see what Kanye had to say, man. Y'all drop a like on this video right now if you haven't already, which you should have. <laughs> but yeah, let's get to it. You know we had to get the hooligans up here. We're gonna take this pussy nigga out. Yo, Dot, I got you. <laughs> Yo, Dot, I got you. We finna take this P word out. 
Hold on, y'all. We finna take this P word out. I got you, Dot. Did he ask for your help? <laughs> What's going on? Did, is there something we don't know about? Did, did Kendrick Lamar reach out? And I doubt he did. But, oh man, let's, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Oh boy, so he on his cat wheels and they get fun. I'm exposing. Okay. See, they tried to count me out. I like that. We just hit a number one. We right back. I will say that though. I ain't gonna say, well, nah, some people did count you out too. I'm not gonna lie. People did, did, didn't think Kanye was gone. More so labels and stuff like that was going against, bro. And if y'all, like, you know, the, the Matrix, <laughs> the Matrix, you feel me? And certain people thought he wasn't gonna, I ain't gonna say wasn't gonna be the same, but wasn't gonna be what he was or stuff like that. And he did prove people wrong, bro. See, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not biased, y'all. I call a spade a spade, bro. You feel me? And I haven't even heard his album. I'm not gonna lie, but people thought people were trying to go against bro. Bro is, I think he's independent, right? I think he's independent now. So labels going against bro. He ain't really got no nobody promoting him right now. He's probably coming out of pocket with all promotion in this like in marketing. So I give you your flowers on that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Down on the bottom, 500 up at the top. Titanium grills, call that smile on the rocks. I done had everything that you're able to get. I invented drill too. I ain't gonna lie, it was chopped. He invented drill? Somebody comment down below and lace me up. Did he invent drill? I know y'all probably did y'all research. Let me know what's going on, bro, with that. I need to know that. <laughs> Hey, another one, volume one Then it's two and three Vultures on repeat Still feel like Pablo, drug dealer chic Pluto sent the drones It hit like Metro Beats It's a rap for niggas Where's Lucien? Serve your master, nigga You caught a little bag for your masters, didn't you? Alright, so I ain't gonna lie I, I heard Joe Budden talk about The Lucien dude And supposedly he's over like a label or something And Supposedly, the way they was making it seem like is like the Lucian dude is responsible for like Drake being as big as he is because he 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 runs like he runs something to where people are are listening to Drake music everywhere and it's like a whole bunch of spins and streams and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how true that is. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like some industry stuff. So I don't know, but I do. What I believe is I ain't gonna lie, like. Even if people are pushing you, right? People could push the mess out of you, promote the mess out of you. If the music trash, the music trash. People are not going to gravitate to it. That's how I feel. So, that's the same thing I felt like when Rick Ross dissed Drake and it was like Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne co-signed you. All these people co-signed. Lil Wayne co-signed a lot of people. Drake is not the only person Lil Wayne signed. You feel me? Like he co he signed a lot of people, co signed a lot of people, tried to push a lot of people. But if the music is is not good, if the people feel like the music not good, people not gravitating towards it. It's just as simple as that. Lifetime deal, like a bad for niggas. Bad for niggas. Y'all so out of sight, out of mind. I can't even think of a Drake line. Play J Cole, get the. What Drewski say? Dude, this is like the face of a nigga that's gonna lie. <laughs> uh, so you can't think of a Drake, you don't know a Drake line? Fool. <laughs> oh my god, boy. Nah, that's funny, bro. Let's run that back. Uh, 
line I can't even think of a Drake line Play J. Cole, get the pussy dry Play this shit back 130 times Young dope dealer selling dope, is you like that? Like kicking those, kicking in those, is you like that? Young thug and lows, is you like that? All 24, you won't go, is you like that? I'm about them really like that. If you like that. Stepping in balances if you like that. Like that. Pop another bottle if you like that. If you like that. We was once at the DJ Fab. No AP, she got petty, careful leap. Taking out to the moon, got shutting their name on my feet. Is that it? Is that it for Yay? That's it? That's the whole that's the dish? Is that it, bro? Don't tell me that's it, bro. I'm gonna be kinda disappointed if that's it, bro. Let me see, bro. Because if that's it, bro, that's time. That's kind of like. Because the Lucian bar, the Lucian bar was probably was supposed to be the big hitter. That was supposed to probably be the big hitter bar exposing, like, hey, bro, this is who really helping Drake, whatever, whatever. But, like, to the casual, like, to the fans, like, we don't really, like, we're not in the industry, so we don't really know, like, that's not a big shocker to us. Like, we're not going to know who that is, and we're not going to know, like, what's really going on behind the scenes. So that's probably the biggest bar on here, like the biggest, the biggest shock factor was supposed to be on here. But it's like, to the to the fans, we don't really know, so it's not really that big. And the Drake, we never heard a Drake line like, I can't think of a Drake line like, we know that's cap. So it's just like, I don't. Know, I hope that's not it. I'm trying to really let, let me see. I ain't a lot. Future's so cold, bro. He just be getting on beats, riding the beat, bro. Like, I really feel like they be putting the beat on, and he just be going for like ten minutes, and they just take the best, best parts of it, bro. <laughs> no cap, bro. Alright, is he finna get back on this, y'all? I hope he do. Let's see how folks I am right now. So slow down, Yeezy, you kill it up. Yes, sir. Shout out John Monopoly Hustle. Seen the little clip of like, what's his name? I think his name is uh, uh, Justin, Justin LeBoy. I seen the clip of Bro playing, and he seemed like he was going crazy. So it's like, I don't know, man. That's, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a trash song, but it's just like, this wise, like, it's not really like, like, if I was Drake. Like, if y'all was Drake, do y'all feel like y'all got to respond to this? Comment down below. That's the question of this video. If y'all was Drake, Drake, do y'all feel like you would have to respond to this, to, to Kanye on this? Like, do you feel like you have to respond? I want to hear y'all thoughts on that, man. But, um, yeah, man. Y'all go ahead right now. Drop a like on this video right now. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We double uploaded today. Let me know how y'all feel about the double uploading, man. Y'all want me to do more of it and stuff like that. Go ahead and, like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. 
Come join the team. Come join the journey. Come get some of this good content. You feel me? Hit that notification bell because you need to be knowing I'm posting. And also comment down below what other videos, music, you know what I'm saying? Music, music videos, whatever content in general. If y'all want me react to some vlogs or 20v1s, whatever it is you want me to react to, comment it, comment down below. And every Friday, starting this Friday, I'm finna start doing subscriber Fridays and post three videos every Friday of videos y'all suggest for me to watch. You feel me? And that's gonna start this Friday. You feel me? So go ahead. If you're suggesting videos, if you're suggesting videos down below, make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss when I react to the videos you suggested. You feel me? And I'm gonna catch y'all next video.